I guessed you would be around here. Where is here? It's part of an old works. It's now a heritage railway. You're not welcome around these parts. You're not digging your teeth into any more engines. It's okay, you two. He's with me. Oh, now this partnership is new. The executive of Track Records has pulled a Sodo Royal into signing over the railway. He also made off with Voco. That man is a nasty piece of work. The number <clears> of <throat> times he uh, if you need any, if you need any assistance, just ask. I think we might. He matches me for planning and diesel ten in deceitfulness and manipulation. Hmm. I think I might know someone near Brillington who can help. Oh my! An adventure! You know how much I love adventure, Scotty. <laughs> Especially stealth missions. <clears throat> yes, yes, uh, yes. Uh, they need to get into the track record yard to save their friend. Oh, of course! Like that time at the steelworks! My invisibility never fails me! You're kidding me. He got hit by an enemy plane during the war. I can't remember what happened. Although, it did brought out a childlike personality in him. Right. And will you be able to hold Osborne off whilst we head back to Sodor? Sonar? Hmm. Where have I heard that before? Never mind. Can we just get on with it? Oh yes! Let's get to it! Invisibility! On! new engines? What are you doing here? We're here to set things straight. Invisibility! Off! Hello, Green Diesel. I'm almost out of fuel. Osborne plans to scrap me and make you choose between saving me and the railway. There's a refueling point back there. I've just stolen fuel for my tanks. We'll get you out of here before they even realize you're missing. It's Osborne's diesel. Not to worry, I'll distract him. Don't wait for me, get back to Soda! How did you get in here? Come back! If you're going to sneak into someone's home, then a lumbering steam kettle isn't the best way to go about it. It doesn't matter how I make my entry, because this is where your schemes end. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. This is where you choose. Save your railway from scrap or save one of your precious engines. I think you underestimate my bargaining power. I could easily go to the authorities with proof of you trespassing, manipulating a royal figure, leaving prices and payments out of a contract proposal, and, above all, stealing one of my engines. Should that come out in the press, it'll be hard to cover up. So no, you choose. Have your company scrapped or save it. You cannot tell me what to do. You forget running railways is a business, but you refuse to take part in it. You forced my hand by cutting ties with the rest of the mainland railway companies. So much for the great Sir Topham Hatt, who will soon be living in the shell of one of his precious steam engine's boilers as it rusts. Okay, authorities it is. Say goodbye to your track record. Oh, 
Boko just needs refueling, sir. Then we're ready to go. We'll see, but it looks like we'll be going with a fight. I am not letting my own creation betray me. None of you are going to get away. We've got Boko! Let's get back to Sodor! Come on, we must stop them. With pleasure. Cranky, we have to work. If we don't, we'll be scrapped. I'm going as fast as I can. Trust me, I don't want you to be scrapped. Calm down a bit, you two. I'm sure the fat controller will get it all sorted. But what if he can't? Edward's right. Work hard like me and show people and the king how useful we really are. That will get them on our side, and we can all try and stop this mainland guy. Why is everyone so against the idea? Sodor could really do with the revolution. A diesel revolution. But he doesn't respect diesels either. That's why he stole Boko and he wanted Diesel 10 to scrap Paxton for meddling. Serves them right for trying to cushion you from the truth. Steam engines have overstayed their welcome. He's turned on Diesel 10 before. You can try and be on the CEO's side, but he could betray you too. Ha! <laughs> Keep hoping! Try too. You didn't get time to refuel me. Okay, I'll switch tracks and shunt you across. What the? The only ones getting across are us. We're raising this bridge, and you can return when the signed contract is accepted. By then, your precious NWR will be at the end of the line, a tunnel with no light at the end. The great thing about working with many different engines is I know they think in different dimensions. And so do I. I called my best shunters to guard the tracks. Good luck. A puny engine won't stand in my way. I'm not puny! I'm here to keep my friends safe! <laughs> You're not coming across! We'll see about that. Uh, I won't give up! <laughs> Trying! Remember, you are strong! Someone come help quickly! Hawthorne is trying to get to the island in a diesel! Philip's holding him back, but he's struggling! <laughs> I'm the strongest engine in the world! <laughs> Bet you guys wish you respected me now! Then go help them! and show them why they should respect you. I shouldn't need to show them. It's their problem, not mine. I don't have time for the tug-of-war games. Please, without you, 
Louis, Boko, and Diesel 10 will be stuck on the mainland and Osborne will scrap all of us. Just let him try and scrap me. I'll stop him if he comes near me. The rest of you can go on the scrap pile for all I care. Now leave me alone. Don't worry, Emily. I'll cover your train. Go with him. Save yourself the embarrassment. You can't win on your own. Oh no! Oh, oh. I told you. Contrada is giving straight orders not to lower the bridge until he says so. I'm sorry, they didn't make it back. Engines and coaches, Sir Topham foolishly came after me, but he was too lazy to try hard enough to save you all. As of this moment, I am your new controller. All trains are halted so I can lay out my vision. What happened to him, Diesel 10, Dewey, and Boko? Patience. Welcome all. I am Seamus Osborne, CEO of Track Records, and now controller of the Northwestern Railway. Your railway will be absorbed into my own, so henceforth these lines will be track record lines. The king signed the lines over to me so that I could improve them, something your old controller wasn't willing to invest in. Lies! Silence! You will obey me. <clears throat> anyway, Sodor's railways will be modernized. Unfortunately, that means most of you will have to go. The lines will be electrified for high-speed passenger services, but there is a limited extent to which diesel traction can cover freight duties, so you diesels have a choice to make. As I asked earlier, what about Sir Topham, Louis, Diesel, Ten, and Boca? What about them? What happened to them? Nothing that is your concern, nor do I care. Well, quite simply, we're not working until we have them back. Yeah! You've made a hard decision for me. Sorry, what is your name? Edward. Okay. Edward, you'll be the first to be scrapped. What? You can't do that. Leave him alone. Give us a top of that back. You can't be doing that to Edward. I need on your pass. <laughs> And don't expect to be repaired. Everyone get back to work. We can stand and protest, and get scrapped sooner, or wait for his plan to unfold, and get scrapped later. We are prisoners on our own railway. For evil! 
evening, sir. Hello. I'm just examining this site as a repair facility for electrical engines. It'd do quite nicely next to the big station. I wanted to take you up on your offer of being a diesel to help you. I've told these steam engines many times we are revolutionary and the future. It's good that it's finally coming true after decades of delay. That's good to know. Finally an engine on this railway with sense and obedience. How about you take over running the Farquhar branch? The blue engine and repairs will be scrapped. There's no point in even trying to put it back together. Thank you, sir. We've tried a deputation and got on strike, but this idiot is still insisting I be a goods engine on Edward's branch line. The shame of it. He won't give us Edward back, and the Flying Kipper's not moving until he does. It's disgraceful. He sidelined us completely. We're lining sidings like engines at Barry. Oh, how the times have caught up with you! <laughs> that little rat is enjoying this. At least you've stood up for yourselves. It's really a no-win situation. We really need to do something. If only Sir Hoppin was here. The bridge is still up. This moron of a controller won't let it down until his ownership of the railway has been officially approved and recognized by the transport ministers. There must be some way we can get Sir Topham back to Sodor. And the others, too. Can Harold fly over and get him? <sighs> Not without clearance from ground control for his route. We don't even know where Sir Topham is. It's the same problem with boats, so Captain can't get across. <laughs> We are well and truly stuck. Guess we'll just sit here gathering dust, then rust. Dust. Pardon? Dust! Dust? I solved the first part of Junior's riddle. I know how we can get Sir Topham back! 